Well, the gas plant scandal provides a heated backdrop for five Ontario by-elections set for August the 1st. And tonight is the first all-candidates debate in one Toronto riding. That would be Etobicoke Lakeshore. Rebecca Thompson is following the story, and she joins us now in the, live in the Toronto newsroom. Now, Rebecca, welcome, first of all. And second of all, can we expect to see some knives coming out tonight? Because I know this is going to be a tough fight, and uh, the Liberals are already uh, showing their teeth. Well, that's absolutely right. And the big question tonight is whether Peter Milchin, who is the Liberal candidate, will have what it takes to defend this Liberal controversy, given the fact that Milchin has been a Toronto City Councillor and hasn't been embroiled in any of this. Of course, all the knives will be out on this issue. In fact, I spoke to a Toronto, uh, I spoke to the host of uh, this debate, uh, the Toronto Taxpayers Coalition, who in fact says that this is going to be one of the top questions. And it comes, uh, Alex, as a new forum research poll indicates that the Ontario Progressive Conservatives are gaining ground on the Liberals uh, when it comes to uh, it, this particular riding. Doug Holliday, who is Deputy Mayor for Toronto, is only six points behind Peter Milchin, the Liberals. Uh, so that's closer. Uh, and of of course, or in this early part of the by-election, it means that Doug Holliday could even creep even closer in what we, what we also see in Scarborough Guildwood, which is a riding on the other side of Toronto, is that the PCs are also gaining ground on the Liberals uh, there, 34 percent, right behind the, uh, the Liberals, 39 percent. Now, as I mentioned, Matt McGuire, the president of the coalition, believes that the gas plant scandal is going to be top of mind for Etobicoke voters in this election. Take a listen. Etobicoke Lakeshore is unique of the five ridings with by-elections because it is the closest affected riding. It was just next door where the gas power plants were cancelled. And one of our questions tonight, at least one of our questions tonight, will be on the gas power plants. With the revelations yesterday, it's clear that there's still a lot to learn, that this story isn't going to go away. And we believe that voters and taxpayers in the riding have a lot of unanswered questions and they'll probably bring those questions to the candidates tonight. Now, of course, the incumbent who is leaving this seat is a Liberal, former Education Minister Laurel Broughton. She won't be facing any of the heat in this by-election after she faced heat, of course, for the major Liberal controversy in the battle between teachers' unions that she was front and centre for. Alex? Now, Rebecca, there's some pretty significant stuff happening here when you're melding municipal and provincial politics. We have a couple of city councillors that are going head-to-head, -head, right? Well, that's right. We have Doug Holliday, who is deputy mayor. He's very well known in the community. He was former mayor of Etobicoke, in fact. He's up against Peter Milchin, who is also a Toronto City Councillor. They're entering into now provincial territory. And, in fact, I had a chance to speak to Doug Ford, also from Etobicoke, a Toronto City Councillor, who believes that the Etobicoke voters are going to vote for change. Take a listen. Right now, uh, we, we do not have uh, anyone representing Toronto down there. Um, the, the Liberal MPPs, they want to ignore uh, the people, of, uh, especially of Scarborough, saying we want subways. They want to ignore it. Uh, we're going to have a, a very lo loud and, and pretty large voice down there with Doug Holliday. So no doubt, Alice, Alex, all eyes will be on this all-candidates debate, given it's the very first one in this by-election race. Actually, pretty exciting stuff when you're looking at an election race, especially when you got the two camps in there together. Thank you, Rebecca. Thank you. Well, that was Rebecca Thompson in our Toronto newsroom. Well